All right, let me just start out by saying that Harry Potter ate my summer. Yeah, so I've been reading Harry Potter for most of the summer, and I am on only the fifth book right now. See, Order of the Phoenix. And I'm almost done with it. I mean, I'm like over halfway. And I've been really enjoying the whole series. It's been really good. Um, the only thing I have to complain about right now is that Harry Potter is seriously pissing me off. Because, like, all he's been doing in this book is, like, whining about, like everything that's going on and everything that's been going wrong with like how people are treating him and how no one tells him what's going on and it's just like really annoying because like I always feel like he wants to have the spotlight on him but then he gets pissed off at the same time when he is in the spotlight. I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly. But I still love the books and I'm very excited to finish them and to keep reading them and everything. So that is good. And I don't mind the Harry Potter ate my summer. Um, cause it's been a good experience. <laughs> but I've also read, um, I went to England for three weeks to see my family and everything. And that was a really good trip. We did a lot. Um, I just went with my mom and we celebrated my 18th birthday because I'm 18 now. And, um, so that was good. Um, so we celebrated that over there. We went shopping a lot and everything. So it was just really fun. It was a good time. And I saw Les Mis in the Queen's Theater. And that was amazing. Oh my gosh, I loved it so much. And, um, sooner or later I want to read Les Mis too. Because I think it would just be good to read it after I see it and everything. I wanted to try to read it before, but I just really... I didn't. <laughs> I didn't... I made an attempt of sort of, like, just buying it. But I didn't get anywhere beyond that, so... Yeah, um, but in England I've read, um, about eight books. I read a ton by, um, Kate Can. I've already read most of her books, but I just reread them because I wanted something, like, familiar, I guess. So I read all of her holiday books, and I love all of them. They're really good and just, like, they're quick reads. And I read her Diving In series, um, which is good, and I've read that before, too. Um, oh, and I read the other Bolin Girl, and I loved that a lot because I went to Hampton Court, and I just became really interested in um, Henry VIII's story um, because I always um, think that um, that time period in history is really interesting, um, but I've never really learned very much about it. So after I went to Hampton Court, I got, like, all this big Henry VIII craze, and I read that book, and I did a lot of research on it, and I just find it so interesting. So I recommend The Other Bowling Girl, because it's really historical, but there's a lot of, like, interesting stuff in it, too. It's just, like, so, like, there's so much drama in it, and it's only part of his story, and I want to read more about um, him and everything. The author is Philippia Gregory. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Philippia Gregory. And um, she writes a lot of that type of book so I'm gonna read more of that and I've been really enjoying it um it's school started now um it's my senior year and I'm really excited I, I love all of my classes um except for I'm taking two math classes which pretty much sucks because I'm so bad at math I hate it so much and I have to take two because they changed how many math credits you need right when I came so that sucks really bad, and I hate it because math is so horrible. Um, but besides that, it's good. I'm a library intern all year, so I love it. And I'm actually starting a book club at my school. So I've been trying to figure out what is, like, the first book to read for that and everything. I've been, like, reading books and trying to figure out which one would be best. I'm kind of leaning towards um The Book Thief right now. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I've heard, like, how good it is. Um, and I want to read it anyways, so I think it would be a good book to start out, um, the year with as far as that. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to do this one book for a while called, like, Under the, um, um, Permissum Tree or something. But that was really, it was just, like, a childish book. Like, it looked like it was written for, like, a younger age group, and I just didn't like it. So I waste a lot of time on that, and it kind of pissed me off. Anyway, so, um, today I found a used bookstore in my town called The Book Rack, and it's actually, like, a chain of bookstores, and they have a lot in America, um, so I thought that that was really cool, and I bought a lot of books. Um, I bought Water for Elephants, 
um, and yeah, and I bought um, Shelter Me, The History of Love, and um, I actually learned about this book from this one girl, um, Miss Roja's channel, or Raja's. I don't know how you pronounce her name, but, um, yeah, I, I think she's a really cool girl, um, I, you know, I get along with people who read a lot, so, <laughs> I think she's cool, and she, um, seems to have really good taste in books, so, um, yeah, I heard about this book, and I was like, hey, I found it, so I'll buy it, so, um, yeah, The History of Love, um, by, um, Nicole Cross, and, um, also bought, Paint It Black by Janet Fitch. So, um, yeah. And that was really good. Like, this book was originally, like, 25 bucks, And I got it for $3.95. And it's hardcover. So that's good. I'm happy. Um, I bought a lot of books this summer. <laughs> I counted all of mine after I got back from England because I was really jet-lagged. And I have, like, over 400 now which is weird, because that's a lot, but I'm really happy. I haven't read a lot of them, but I'm kind of addicted to buying books. So, I just can't stop. Um, but I'm going to read them all someday. Trust me. Uh, and um, my friend Kelsey got me The Secret Life of Bees for my birthday. So I need to read that too. I have a ton of books I need to read. People have been getting mad at me because I haven't finished, like, very many this summer. But whatever. Yeah. So that is just what I have been doing. And I got this really cool book in England. It has other books on it. I can't get this. Ugh, there. See? And it's just, like, a notebook. And I write down, like, books that I want to read and everything in it so yeah I have an old book like that and I think it's a good idea for like anyone to have a book like this because if you just like see a book that you think is interesting and if you don't have any money then just like write it down and then you can like later go and like buy it so yeah and I've been kind of buying a lot of books on Amazon because Amazon rules I like Amazon a lot so yeah that's just what I've been doing. And I thought that I haven't made a video in forever. And some people have been asking me to. So, yeah. Here's the video. Okay, and I will hopefully make another one soon after I finish some of these books. And I need to finish Harry Potter in three weeks. Unless it's that.